What is going on you guys? This is Chris with Patch Boy Dar, Patches for the Culture. And in today's video, this is a part two of setting up the Brother SC 625. And if you have not seen part one of setting up the Brother SC 625, go ahead and click up on the little ticker symbol right there above. This video is gonna be short and straight to the point. What we're gonna be doing is setting up our hoop so that way we can start embroidering on the SC625. For this tutorial, you will need your embroidery hoop, of course, which is this part right here that comes with the SC625. You also need some fabric to embroider on. This particular fabric right here is black duck cloth. You can purchase this at your local Joann's. And for our stabilizer, this is just some white cutaway stabilizer that you can purchase using our Amazon affiliate link below. So what we wanna do is go ahead and take our cutaway stabilizer and our fabric and we just want to layer our fabric right on top of the stabilizer just like so and we'll set that off to the side. Next up when we want to take our embroidery hoop we want to take off the inner frame set the inner frame off to the side. You want to make sure your embroidery hoop is loose enough for the thickness of your material and your stabilizer. To loosen and tighten this embroidery frame you do got your little Phillips head screw right here in which you will need your little Phillips head screwdriver that is included with the machine. So from here I'm going to take my frame and I'm going to take my fabric with the stabilizer layered up and I'm going to set it right there on top to make sure it's lined up the way I need it to be. Now I'm going to take my inner frame part right here I'm going to set it on top and I'm going to push it into place creating a nice snug fit. So right now it's a little too snug you guys it's too snug so I need to come in here and I need to loosen it up some. I'm just going to hand loosen it up, do a couple rotations. There we go. That should do the trick. So let's go ahead and repeat it. Let's put our uh, fabric on and our stabilizer. Let's take our inner frame and let's go ahead and push it down so that way it goes into place like so. So when it's in place, it should be a nice snug fit. It should be nice and tight. If it's not tight enough, what you can do is come in and just adjust the fabric a little bit, pull up. Maybe not pull up on the stabilizer, but pull up on the fabric just so it gets a little bit more stretched out. This is duck canvas, so it is, it is a thicker material. It's not the same type of material that's uh, cotton or polyester or anything, so it's nice and stiff. And if I want to tighten it up, what I can do is come in with my little screwdriver that was included with the Brother SC625. And I'm going to come right here and I'm going to tighten this up. The reason you use, use this screwdriver is because you might not be able to get it as tight as you want to get it by hand. All right, you guys, so we got our fabric hooped up. This was quick and fast. So now what we can do is we can put this on the Brother SC625. All righty, you guys, so when it comes to putting this hoop onto the SC625, if you look closely, you got these two prongs right here, one and two. And those two prongs will snap into place right here and here. We want to make sure the hoop goes underneath the Q foot right here. So make sure your Q foot is in the up position. So with our two prongs right here and here, we want to make sure it goes into these two slits there. Before we line it up, there is a little metal tab right here that gives you a little bit of wiggle room, right? You see that? You want to pull this back, bring in your two prongs, and just go ahead and snap it down. You should hear a click. Let's do it one more time. So just like this. And there's the clip. So now that our embroidery hoop is secured onto the embroidery arm in the embroidery unit, what we can do now is come up over here. We can select our design. We can load up our thread, whichever color the design is going to be, and we can go ahead and start stitching. Hopefully you found this video helpful in setting up your embroidery hoop. And as far as taking the hoop off, it's the exact same way as putting it on. What we'll do is come here, pull this little tab, lift up the prongs and just pull it out. Nice and easy you guys, nice and easy. For all of you beginners out there, I don't expect you to get this on the first try, but that's why you keep practicing and practicing and you too will become an embroidery expert. This has been Chris with Patch Boy Darb, Patches for the Culture. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.